So I think it was kind of funny, the video that I flashed back to stock, everyone was, well, most people were sort of concerned, <laughs> like bummed out that I was flashing back to stock, thinking that I was never gonna like run a tune again. The only reason I did that is because I had to get rid of the K-Tuner version 1.2. I had to mail it out to Elijah. So today, I'm gonna be flashing this to the car with both TSP Stage 1 and Fearable loaded up here. I'm actually gonna be trying out TSP Stage 1. Well, trying it out again. I haven't driven the car with TSP Stage 1 for, I don't know, like four months, but let's get to it. So the first step is to plug it into the car. And then I'm gonna fish my wire up here. Okay, so it's connected. Second step, put it in accessory mode. Press yes. This unit has been locked. It will now restart. Awesome. I did drive the car this morning, so that's why the temps are already up. Next step is to take your K-Tuner and plug it into your computer, obviously using the USB connection. And then open up the K-Tuner software. All right, would you like to lock this K-Tuner unit to the ECU? Yes. This kitchen or flash unit needs to be set up in order to connect. Yes. Oh my God, the software sucks. All right, now you're gonna go to your email. This is the TSP tune, I already clicked download. It's right here. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for Fearable. Then go to your kitchen or software again, and we are going to click open tune. Let's load up the Fearable into slot one. Okay, and then we're gonna go to upload basic code, and then that's gonna load up into slot one. All right, so, just to help you guys out here, it's gonna tell you what tune is open on K-Tuner, the software. It's gonna tell you right up here. It's a really, really bad design. I really wish they would <laughs> improve the software. It's, it's garbage. And then when the tune is done loading into slot one, like I just did, it's not gonna tell you like a, you know, loading into slot one was successful or anything like that. I guess when it goes away, it's, it's done. So I'm gonna do the same exact thing for TSP stage one, and I'm gonna load it into uh, slot two. All right, it's now time to flash one of the tunes of the car. I'm gonna do TSP, like I said. Let's put it in accessory mode. Click the K. Flash. Let's do tune two. You wanna flash this tune? Yeah, that's why I clicked it. Here we go. All right, flash was successful. Told me to turn the vehicle on. So obviously we're gonna have all these lights in here, which is normal. Wait for all those to go away. Vivian! Wanna go for a little ride? Where are we going? Uh, we're gonna try out the tune I put on. Come on. Does it involve food? Yes, it involves food for you. Cheeseburger. Everybody say hi to Vivian. Hi. <laughs> what I need to do is make sure that the tune is successfully loaded on, so I'm gonna hit cancel. Oh, and we go up to 1,000 RPM. Okay, so now let's go up to 2,000, which is our map two. So for TSP stage one, I believe that is 19 normal mode and then 21. I don't, honestly, I don't really wanna floor the car today though because the air quality is freaking terrible. Yeah, so I don't know if you guys can see that, but the two cracks in the window are getting really bad. So before Vivian daily drives this, obviously I need to get that fixed. So revving's off. Oh, that drives nicely. You're gonna drive around for a little bit, right? Yeah. Okay. TSP stage one feels really good. TSP and Fearable and the stock tune, honestly, all feel really similar in the lower RPM. Yeah, this TSP tune feels really good with the revving off. This air quality is getting really annoying. Air quality, on top of <clears throat> the uh, like the COVID-19 restrictions, Stop. it's getting really fucking annoying. Basically, don't go anywhere, don't do anything. Like we can't even we can't even go on a hike. We can't go can't go to the park. Can't go for a run because the air quality is that bad. See, I mean, 
waiting over here. McDonald's breakfast sounds really good. I might get a couple of breakfast sandwiches. All right, so yeah, I mean, TSP Stage 1 feels good. You guys have already seen me drive the car with that a bunch of times. The next race I do, it's either gonna be a Veloster N or Kevin's Type R, the one that I just reviewed. What I'd like to do is do a couple pulls on Fearable and then a couple pulls, maybe one or two on TSP. Just see what the, I don't know, just see how they feel, like back to back. Then I could show you guys like what my temperatures are and the knock control and all that type of stuff. And then if I do that for my next two races, I could have enough research to do a full comparison video between those two tunes. Cause I mean, they're pretty darn close. I don't like McDonald's burgers. Oh my God, I love McDonald's burgers. They're too small. Okay, let's go layout, text item six. Let's get IAT two. Those are the intercooler temperatures. IAT2 is at 107 and the IATs are 113. That's pretty consistent with what I find my temperatures to be like. What? Log in for today. Hello, uh, give me one second, please. Okay. On a medium number six, please. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, go ahead. Uh, could I have a medium number six with ranch and a Coke? Okay. Uh, and sweet and sour as well, please. And then, oh, okay. are you still serving breakfast? No, we stopped doing that after 10.30. Oh, crap. Okay, that's it. Just the number six with the Coke? Yeah, please. All right, 857, first one down. Thanks. No problem. Damn it. Weird, I, thought they were... I thought they were 24 seven. Maybe they took it back. Maybe it wasn't doing so well. Bullshit, it was, was not doing well. Okay, so guys, I want you to comment down below. I'm getting really antsy. I want something else. Life is short, and I don't want to drive the same car for a long period of time, okay? Life is way too short for that. Uh, What do you guys think about me trading this puppy in for a Challenger Scat Pack or a C6 Corvette? Uh, Yeah, I don't know. One of those two. Vivian, so this is going to be Vivian's daily driver. Challenger. Vivian has her 2009 Challenger and she loves that car. I love my car. What do you love about it? She's reliable and she's a beast. <laughs> I get okay. a lot of respect. This is reliable and it's a beast? It's a mini beast. You do not get respect on the road with this. Sorry. Okay. You just don't. That is true. And People... you, got, you guys you guys can't get mad in the comments. Vivian's not... Vivian's just being real because it's true. Honda owners really don't get respect on the road. So you ser you honestly would drive that though. If yeah. we if we got a used Don't Challenger Scat Papa? Pack 6-speed manual. That's like 485 horsepower. That's exactly what I need. You would be okay with driving that. Mm -hmm. Let me know what you guys think. Chicken wing, chicken wing. <laughs> the hell are you laughing at? What the fuck are you laughing at? <laughs> Babe, stop. <laughs> You're going crazy. <laughs> That's just what you did. Ew, ew. ew. <coughs> My God. This is a brand new car. Yep. And it's trashed. It's not trashed, it's just, Disgust I have stuff in it. Oh, it's disgusting. Be <laughs> what? Okay. Don't, don't move it. Don't put it down. Mm -hmm. Just so you Put it down. See. That's gross. Put it down, Vivian. Put it down! Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Oh, you're hurting oh, me. Oh, come here, baby. It's assault! I'm not hurting you. Come here. I'm gonna propose to Vivian soon. <laughs> so, I, I also heard some news. I watch uh, Kirk Kreifels. I'll link his channel in the description, but he has really, really good automotive news and he focuses on Japanese and Korean auto. So, you know, Honda, Toyota, Kia, stuff like that. Anyway, I just watched his video this morning and he said that there is a rumor that the uh, GR86 is going to be postponed or delayed. I don't know how much of a delay there's gonna be. I mean, we don't even have an official release date yet, but supposedly it's gonna go from spring 2021 to like summer, late summer 2021. So that's a whole ass year from now. And I want something else, man. Like I don't, I, 
I know I built this channel with this car. I hope uh, you guys will stick around and watch the ninth gen content and whatever else we get. But either way, like, I'm not going to tie myself to one car. I'm not going to do it. Life is too short for that, man. Let me know what you guys would like to see. Because I'm, I'm, I'm getting really antsy. You really? I really do. What I would like is a black C6 Corvette. Those things, oh, I would love that. But I also have to think, Vivian has to daily drive something. I'm not gonna and if it's gonna be between, that. if it's gonna be between the ninth gen okay. and something else, we just have to be like, we have to think about what we're getting. Good thing is, it's only gonna be one car payment still because the ninth gen is, is paid for, so. I don't know. Let me know if you guys would like to see a Challenger for a little while. That'd be cool. I mean, it's, it's only gonna, I'm only gonna have, whatever we get, we're only gonna have this for eight, 10, 12 months until the next thing comes out. We don't know when these cars are coming out. The WRX, the GR Corolla, the GT86. I don't know. <clears throat> what? The Bronco. Oh, the Bronco, yes. All right, guys, I'm gonna end the video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And obviously I'll be looking forward to the comments, so. See you next time. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. 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 <laughs> Motherfucker! <laughs>